Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to do Sainsbury's. I know money's tight for a lot of people and I think supermarket fuels. People are going to be going for supermarket fuels because they are considerably cheaper. The last time we did this it was uh, February this year. E5 super unleaded then came in at 148.9 pence per litre and now it comes in at 196.9 pence a litre. So that is a 48 pence rise. That's pretty typical of what we're seeing now, 48p from uh, from February. The E10, that came in last time in February at 141.9 pence a litre. That's now coming in at 189.9 pence a litre. That is also a 48 pence increase. Now looking back, the last one, the Gulf one that I did, that was also a 48p on the E5. So it's a pretty much a standard rise now, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we have got 20 mils in the bottom and that is dyed blue water. We are going to add 200 mils, which will bring it to there. And then we'll agitate them and we'll be able to tell exactly how much ethanol is in it from that. There we are, all loaded up. So the one on the left, that is the E10. And the one on the right, that is the Super Unleaded, which is a 97 octane. So the left one on the E10, last time, that came in as a good 5% like slightly or like on the top side of 5% not not like 6 or 7 but just the top side of it and the E5 that came in at 2.5 you can see straight away particularly the E10 that is not far off 2.5% already just from loading it up so I don't know what it's going to turn out to be and I can also see the E5 on the right that has crept up a bit um, it's certainly not doing that sort of like a comp compressed, squashed kind of look where it, you can really sort of see it. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how these go. So, let's get doing it. What I do now, I pour those into a measuring jug, five or six times into, into a totally different measuring jug. And um, it really agitates it, then I'll leave it for a good half an hour, come back to it, and then we'll see what we've got. So, I'll see you literally in 10 seconds. Right, we're back. And the good news is, it's exactly the same as last time. So that E10 on the left, it's a good 5%. I'm going to see, it's probably like 5.5%, something like that. Um, the E5 on the right, that's still 2.5%. Um, it's absolutely bang on 2.5%. Which, to say that it's not changed when other brands have changed for a supermarket brand, I think it's good, to be totally honest with you. The price is right, um, especially if you're on a budget. So, yeah. I'm happy with that, I think it's impressive. It would have obviously been better to see zero ethanol in it, but when you so you're talking about a budget fuel, I don't think you're just not gonna see it, are you? So um two things. Next up I've got Shell and BP to do. Now I'm going to try and do one of them tomorrow and then I can get the videos out because believe it or not, it actually takes about two hours to make one of these videos so I'll do Shell BP and I don't know what order it is and the other thing that I wanted to ask is I am just using a Canon 600D camera and it's just on the standard microphone and I know when I listen to the sound back it's absolutely shocking so has anybody got any decent suggestions on what microphone to get i don't want to spend a fortune the channel's obviously not monetized i'll never use it for anything else so i don't know you know sort of like 50 quid something like that maybe a bit more i don't want to spend a, i don't certainly don't want to spend more than 100 quid on a microphone 
Uh, but if it makes it a bit clearer and better quality, then I don't mind giving it a bit of a bash. So if you can put that in the comments, if you've got any suggestions, and uh, right, see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.